Good morning, everyone. I'm Samida, your host for today's event. And it is my greatest pleasure to host you through this momentous occasion. Before we dive into the heart of today's ceremony, let us collectively acknowledge the extraordinary journey that has brought us to this grand milestone. We extend our deepest gratitude to the faculty members, the pillars of wisdom, the parents' unwavering support, and of course, the graduates, the architects of their destiny, who have worked hard to, to reach this uh, important moment in their lives. As we stand here today, we reflect upon a journey marked by rigorous efforts, tight deadlines, late night studies, deep uh, teamwork, and lifelong friendships. Reading your yearbook messages, we see that your Deacon journey has been a saga of personal growth, tough challenges, and successful achievements. Every graduate has a unique story marked by resilience, determination, and a strong desire to learn. Your stories fascinate me. I encourage you to share in the comment section the experiences that have left an indelible mark on you and the lasting connections you have cultivated. Enlighten us about the individuals you would like to express gratitude to for shaping the person you are today. While I wait to see your comments, I want to tell you that today is not merely a conclusion to an academic chapter. It is a celebration of your exceptional accomplishment. So, Without delay, let us formally begin the ceremony by extending an invitation to Mr. Govind Kumar, President of the Working Profession Vertical at Upgrad, to deliver his keynote address. Govind Kumar is professional with a background spamming 15 years across ITC Limited, Flipkart.com, and Hopscotch.in. In his last role as the Vice President Business at Hopscotch.in. He drew strategies that transformed the brand into a D2C powerhouse of the kids' fashion domain. He is passionate about driving product excellence, category expansion, and user growth. In his previous role at Flipkart, he got a chance to manage supply as well as demand for some of the long tail and head heavy categories of Flipkart. During his tenure at Flipkart, he managed life, lifestyle categories, home business and private label business of Flipkart. Prior to Flipkart, he was at ITC, ITC Limited and managed business of one of their brands across the four Southern states. He was responsible for managing the retail footprint of the brand and PNL of exclusive brand outlets through various franchise models. And now at Upgrad, he is responsible for shaping the strategic direction for the vertical, driving growth and enduring overall success. We definitely look forward to gaining insights from his wealth of experience. Over to you, Govin. Thanks, Amida. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and most importantly, the brilliant MBA graduates of Deakin and Upgrad. A very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you joining us live from across the globe today. Today is a day of celebration and reflection, a moment to acknowledge the dedication, perseverance, and accomplishment of each and every one of you who has joined us today. Congratulations, class of 2023 and 2024. Your journey through the rigorous MBA program at Deakin and Upgrad has not only transformed your knowledge, but also has honed your skills, shaped your character, and prepared you for the exciting road ahead. As we stand on the verge of a new era, we find ourselves in a world that is evolving at an unprecedented pace. 
The challenges and opportunities that await you are vast, and the skills you have acquired during your time here have equipped you to not just navigate, but also to thrive in this dynamic landscape. Friends, first and foremost, I want to commend you for choosing a path of continuous learning. In a world where change is the only constant, your commitment to lifelong learning is your greatest asset. Continuous learning serves as an antidote to obsolescence in an ever-changing world. Technologies evolve, industries transform, and new challenges emerge with unprecedented frequency. To thrive in such an environment, individuals must adopt a mindset that values adaptability and embraces the pursuit of new knowledge and skills. A commitment to ongoing learning not only equips individuals with the tools needed to navigate these shifts, but also positions them as active contributors to innovation and progress. The partnership between Deakin and Upgrad is a testament to the importance of adapting to new ways of learning. And you, as graduates, are the torchbearers of this philosophy. In the words of Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Armed with your MBA degrees, you now possess a formidable tool to drive change, not only in your own lives, but also in the organizations and communities you are going to become a part of. Remember, the journey doesn't end here. It's just the beginning. The business world you are going to enter is not a static landscape, but a dynamic ecosystem that demands agility, innovation, and resilience. Embrace change, for it is the precursor to progress. Be open to new ideas, diverse perspectives, and unconventional solutions. Your ability to adapt will be your compass in uncharted territories. Friends, as you step into the professional realm, never underestimate the power of collaboration. Success is rarely a solo act or event. It is a symphony of collective efforts. I would strongly urge all of you to build strong networks, foster meaningful connections, and remember that your greatest achievements will often be a result of collaboration and, te and teamwork. Lastly, don't be afraid to dream big. Your education has equipped you with the tools to envision a future beyond the status quo. Seize opportunities, challenge the norms, and let your ambition soar. The world needs leaders who dare to dream and have the courage to turn those dreams into reality. Friends, remember that today marks not an end, but to a commencement, a commencement of a journey filled with endless possibilities. I congratulate all of you once again. Thank you. Thank you, Govind, for your profoundly inspirational words. Moving ahead, prior to moving forward, let's proudly declare to the world that you have officially graduated from Deacon and Upgrad. Capture this significant moment and share it on LinkedIn. Remember to tag us using hashtag Deacon and Upgrad Convocation. I'm eager, in fact, we are eager to see your post and learn about your experiences. Don't forget to include Deacon and Upgrad tags so we can choose the most exceptional post for a special surprise. Now, Another surprise is in the store. To impart words of wisdom and inspiration, we are privileged to have Mr. Raj V, Senior Director, Ethics and Compliance at Flipkart. He's passionate about ethics, risk, and compliance. He's a firm believer in educating, engaging, and empowering people because if people are right, processes and procedures will eventually be right. He is a sponsor of diversity and inclusion for fostering a more creative and innovative workforce. He, like all of you, is a dedicated lifelong learner. Over to you, Raj. 
Thank you so much. Namaste and a very good morning to all of you. I really don't like long speeches, so I will keep mine very brief and succinct. Uh, as a former student, firstly, it's truly an honor for me to virtually commemorate your accomplishment of successfully completing your Deakin Business School's MBA journey. Uh, thanks also to uh, Deakin Business School, my alma mater and upgrad for uh, giving me this opportunity, right? Uh, most importantly, right, uh, I want to congratulate each one of you on reaching this significant milestone in your academic and professional journey. I know it is not easy, right, to work, to study and to balance all that. And uh, as you stand in this uh, cusp of this new chapter, right, what you're armed with is knowledge and skills which you acquired as part of this journey, which is the Global MBA program. Um, however, let me warn you, uh, okay. Uh, in the realm of business and leadership, the road is often very challenging. It's always filled with unexpected twists, turns, and drama, right? Yet, uh, I want to encourage you uh, to embrace uh, these challenges and treat them as opportunities for growth. Uh, do you remember this quote uh, from uh, Swami Vivekananda, who would always encourage the youth to arise, awake, and stop not until the goal is uh, reached. So you've achieved one goal, which is to successfully complete your MBA. So the next goal is to approach all your future endeavors with a lot of optimism, uh, knowing that uh, you have acquired the skills through this program, and they are the keys to overcoming most of those obstacles. Uh, I also uh, love the quotes by uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, right? Who always focused on striving for excellence in anything that is done. So remember that quote, uh, you know, where he said that excellence is a continuous process and it's not an accident. And continuous improvement uh, should be like your mantra, you know, wherever you are, whatever you do, along with the skills that you acquired from your global MBA uh, and all the tools that you were exposed to as part of the journey, use them. Uh, to craft the path of excellence. So once again, uh, I congratulate all of you. May your future be filled with continuous learning, unwavering determination, and the fulfillment of all your aspirations and dreams. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raj, for you know the insightful and the inspirational words. Thank you once again. Up next, in our esteemed lineup is Dr. Joseph Griffin. He currently serves as the director of MBA Global <clears throat> at Deakin University, Australia. Dr. Griffin has built a career focused on governance, business strategy, business enhancement, and organizational capability improvements. His expertise span various domains, including HRM, OD, strategic planning, innovation and change management, leadership, risk management, and policy formation. With a wealth of experience, Dr. Griffin has contributed to organization across diverse cultures in Asia, the Pacific, Africa, and within Australia. Balancing between roles, he has also been actively involved in postgraduate lecturing at Swanburn, Victoria, RMIT, Melbourne, Torrance, and Deakin Universities. Covering subjects such as leadership, governance, organizational development, entrepreneurship, and policy formation. Dr. Joseph will also be honoring the exceptional achievements and few outstanding students among us, whether in leadership, innovation, or community service. These graduates have truly represented the spirit of Deacon and Upgrad. I extend the invitation to Dr. Joseph to give his keynote and address and announce the distinguished awardees. Good morning, everyone. I understand it's still morning in India. It's late evening here in Melbourne, where I am at the moment. So to all of the potential uh, graduates um, and guests here today, it's certainly an honor to be part of this particular ceremony. So firstly, I'd just like to congratulate each and every one of you completing the course and trust that you've enjoyed your learning. It's important to enjoy your learnings and the expansion of your learning and that you'll retain this thirst 
uh, for continually enriching your learning as you expand your career and uh, your own personal exp uh, aspirations. The course itself has been designed to give you a capacity with a depth and a scope to operate at an executive level within corporations or self-employed if you happen to operate in a startup. So today is a reflective opportunity for you to take away enhanced skills to this operate in this world of the future, which is complex, ambiguous, and constantly changing. So it's critical that you've developed a number of workplace skills. And as, for instance, um, Govard and Raj have mentioned, it's just the beginning. You'll be continuously learning because of this continual change in our society. And I'm reminded of a quote that one thing is certain is that change will occur. One thing that is more certain is that change will occur quicker. So the content of the course will change, but your skills of independent critical thinking reflective thinking and this recognition as Raj talked about the diversity and inclusion is fundamental to the way in which businesses are successful and you as the leaders of those businesses become the people who drive these issues of critical thinking, reflective thinking and in diversity and inclusion. You develop strong levels of self-initiative and self-accountability. These are the things that an employer looks for and on top of that You've got that financial reality to look at the economic realities of the business world. And you need to operate in a issue that's a non-prescriptive world, that's ambiguous. And as noted by both, uh, by Garb, uh, was it Govid, you need to be prepared to change and challenge the status quo because the status quo will always be changing. And so the completion of the course is an achievement beyond your normal work or family, social and personal time commitments that determine the life of most adults. The fact that you've completed this course with all of these multiple conflicting interests informs an employer that you offer an additional resilience, a point of difference that would not be evident had you not undertaken the course and been successful. On top of that, you happen to have built a network to enhance these skills. And some of these networks that you've built through the course, they will become lifelong friends. I'm sure some of you have connected and you're from all different parts of India and some of you from different parts of the globe. So you will have a network that you can call upon and find out and explore the world together. But ongoing, I'm confident that you'll continue to expand your learning and experiences as the workplace and the society are in a continual state of change and disruption. Beyond the course, I'm confident that all of you will be successful business women and business men, that you'll continue to learn and grow your capacity to address this ambiguity and uncertainty as we continually have this geopolitical, social and economic changes in our world. You'll challenge processes and systems for the better. You'll inspire others by encouraging their heart, as Pusner and Kozner from one of your leadership quotes uh, studies would have noted, and follow with a clear vision of who you are and what you want to achieve. This is just the beginning. So support and enable your staff for a capacity building and provide this delegated accountability to act. Let people develop build them so they're better than they were and better than they dreamed they might be. Of course, you need to model this in an ethical way and transparent manner. So you and your family by you will benefit from this particular course. But there's a bit of a payback in some ways. So with this enhanced capacity, some self-determined obligations can emerge. In other words, you can decide whether you, how you might consider to contribute to a wider society and recognition of the support provided during this course. So in this world of change, the power of education and learning can be underpinned an individual's contribution to this broader spectrum of a society. And to quote Dr. King, 
he used to think in terms of this is Martin Luther King in one of his great speeches, I have a dream. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? So I challenge you as leaders of the future to consider means that you can contribute to the wider society, either locally, nationally, and internationally. You've had a lot of support. Your family's been one of those bodies of people that have given strong support to you. Remember to recognize your families and the support they've given you during this course. Of course, there's been support from Upgrad and there's been support from Deakin. And we now have over a thousand live students and 500 graduates in this course by February. You represent the number that have pushed it past 500 graduates. It's been supported by your committed lecturers, the unit chairs, your subject matter experts, the mentors, the graders and the professional staff who have all contributed to the success of this program. The professional staff at Deakin and Upgrad have worked tirelessly from admissions to enrolments to results and now to this period of celebration and graduation in both organisations. These professional staff are very important in the way in which the academic rigour and the academic integrity is maintained because they underpin the lecturing partnership between Deakin and Upgrad and significantly matured over a period of time since the MBA Global started three years ago and continues to do so. So a true partnership is developing between the two organisations. And one of the things that has developed in that period of time has been an alumni. And I hope that all of you maintain your connection to the Deakin alumni and especially the Southeast Asia branch, which is based in Delhi. So it's based in India. You can form in that network that I mentioned earlier that is fantastic. And so not to take too long, just to you, to the end, I wish you, the graduates and soon to be graduates, every success in your future careers and personal life. So work, so let me start again. So walk tall, you've earned it. Thank you very, very much. Enjoy and celebrate your celebration. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Dr. Joe. Thank you so much. I would also request you now if you can um, announce the awardees as well. We have, let me know, I have a wonderful opportunity now to recognize, allow me just while I um, read this sort of testament to the individuals that have won the award. So first we have an ins the inspiring women. And we have three people that have won this particular award. Let me give you some details of the inspiring woman. We've got three women that have won that. So this award celebrates women whose resilience knows no bounds, whether conquering deadlines, nurturing a family, or excelling in their professional roles. These individuals stand as an inspiration to not only the Deacon team, but to their peers as well. Their unwavering determination is not only astonishing, but also highly commendable, leaving an indelible mark on all those who have had the privilege of witnessing their remarkable journeys. So let me just announce, please, the three winners for the aspiring one. There are three, Pusha Singh, Betsy Reeby Matthew, Apuva Goal. Congratulations to the three of you. And I do apologize for my poor pronunciations on occasions. So thank you. And I say it's a significant award given the number of students in your particular uh, batch of students. And remember, you pick some up from other particular batches that have come through. So it's a wonderful achievement. I'm sure that each and every one of you, the three of you, will go on to make significant contributions to your workplace, your family, and to society. Allow me now to move on to the second category of awards, the networking guru. This award recognizes learners who not only identify the invaluable 
networking opportunities presented by their program, but also maximize them to the fullest extent. Actively engaging in discussion forums, WhatsApp groups, and providing insightful responses to academic queries. These individuals emerged as front runners in every aspect. Beyond academic contributions, they played a pivotal role in guiding fellow students on crucial career decisions. Many went above and beyond by establishing connections on platforms like LinkedIn, fostering relationships to endure long after the program concludes. Their proactive approach to networking sets, networking sets them apart as true leaders in this regard. There are two winners of the networking guru. They are Aditya Varma and Prasad Devankaran. Congratulations to both of you. And like I mentioned, and has been mentioned also by uh, Govind in his presentation, networking becomes an important part ongoing in an individual's professional career and personal life. So I'm sure that all of the, the both of you will actually be an advantage for yourselves, but by your networking capacity, you'll be an advantage to a large number of people as you undertake your career progression. So congratulations. Congratulations to both categories of the award winners. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Joe. And congratulations to our awardees. Congratulations to all the graduates 2023-2024. And now with great honor, I introduce our valedictorian, Mr. Aditya Verma. Aditya is an accomplished executive cadre, Indian Navy professional with over 20 years of extensive experience in information communication technology, cybersecurity and compliance, supply chain operations and HR training management. A proud third generation Defense Forces veteran. He transitioned to the corporate sector after 22 years with the Indian Navy. Please join me in welcoming him, who continues to make significant contribution to the fields he serves. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for that lovely uh, introduction. And uh, I feel elated uh, uh, to be recognized as the networking guru. Feel humbled by the recognition. Thank you so much. Uh, it's it's been a long journey and uh, esteemed faculty uh, respected graduates and distinguished guests uh, good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are i am commander aditya varma a proud uh, indian navy veteran who has uh, recently seamlessly transitioned into the corporate realm today i stand before you with the profound gratitude as we virtually commemorate the culmination of our trans transformative journey through the MBA Global Program at the Deakin University. My heartfelt appreciation goes out to the exceptional faculty and staff at both IMT Ghaziabad and the Deakin University. Uh, your unwavering dedication and expertise have played a vital role in shaping our growth. A special acknowledgement to the administrative teams for their steadfast support throughout this program. They are indeed the unsung heroes. From the postgraduate diploma in management in business analytics at IMT Ghazibad to the prestigious MBA at Deakin University, our journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. Beyond academic accomplishments, it has been a profound odyssey of professional and personal transformation. As a former member of the Indian Navy, the MBA program's structured approach, reminiscent of military discipline, 
coupled with innovative business strategies has impeccably prepared me for the corporate challenges and opportunities which I have already started facing. These two years have been a deep dive into business analytics and management, refining not just our analytical skills, but also instilling the agility needed in today's dynamic business landscape. The recent inauguration of Deakin University's Gift City Campus in Ahmedabad stands as a testament to the commitment to quality education in India. As Deakin alumnus, attending the inauguration was an honor, and this new campus signifies a future where educational aspirations transcend geographical boundaries, and I urge all of you in India to, to try and visit the campus sometime. Our heartfelt thanks to our families and friends. Your unwavering support and faith in our abilities have been our bedrock. As we embark on future endeavors, let's carry forth the spirit of excellence, curiosity, and resilience nurtured during our time at Deakin. The business world evolves constantly, and as Deacon alumni, we are poised to assume leadership roles, drive innovation, and make impactful contributions. Congratulations, class of 24. Some of us will attend the physical valedictory ceremony at the Burnwood campus, Melbourne, shortly. Wish you a happy journey. Here's to our future success challenges and continuous growth. Thank you, Upgrad Deakin University and IMT Ghaziabad for guiding us on this incredible journey. Now equipped with knowledge and determination, we are ready to step forward and make a meaningful impact in the world. In conclusion, stay safe, stay inspired and remember, the journey of learning never truly ends. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Aditya, for sharing your experience with us and the motivational words. And congratulations once again for one of the networking guru. Thank you so much. Thank you. So before we conclude, we encourage you to sign into the Upgrad Alumni Networking Platform. The link can be found in the comments section. Celebrate this victory by connecting with outstanding individuals across domains in our alumni network. As we approach to the conclusion of this esteemed ceremony, allow me to share a guiding thought with our graduates. Success is not a destination, but a journey. And lifelong learning is the compass that guides, guides us along the ever-evolving path of growth and achievement. Embrace each experience as a step towards your dreams. Carry forward the knowledge you have acquired, you, the friendships you have cultivated, and the memories you have created. A heartfelt thank you to everyone who has contributed to this remarkable journey. May the unbeatable spirit of Deacon reside within each of us. As we conclude this ceremony, let the rejoicing commence.